So what in the world are design tokens? Whether you are a product designer or a software engineer, this video will help you conceptualize what a design tokens are. Before we get into it, why do we care for design tokens and how do they help you? Well, design tokens can help efficiently manage design systems. It can also help better translate from design to development and it helps maintain high consistency across product UI. So it sounds like a pretty cool thing. Let's try to understand and see if we can utilize it. What are design tokens? Tokens are like nicknames. What does that mean? Well, let me tell you a quick story between a designer and an engineer working to design a website for a Starbucks. And the engineer is wondering what the Starbucks green color is. And the designer says it's Pantone 3425C. And engineers don't really understand. He's like, whoa, whoa, uh, can I get the hex value, please? And designer says, I think it was this hex value. The last I knew was this hex number. If anyone hasn't updated, I hope. And the engineer gets frustrated and he says, okay, are you sure? I'm not really confident about this. I'm gonna have a lot of work to do. So you see there is a problem here. Wouldn't it be great if you could just call the value Starbucks brand and not worry about the updates to the color at all? Well, that's what design tokens are. Design tokens separate the concerns of using the color and choosing the color. Of course, not limited to color, but applies to any style values. So you can see that wherever we want to use the brand color. Now we can simply use the token called the Starbucks brand in replacement of the actual hard-coded color value. So we talked about separating the concern of choosing the color and using the color. So in this case, designers choose and engineers use. Let's see what happens. So the designer says, okay, well, we have a token now, so let's use the Starbucks brand token. Please use this for the Starbucks screen. Engineer says, cool. But then he's a little worried because he heard from somebody that next week, maybe the brand color will update. And she says, um, if the brand color does update, we will request an update to the token itself. So don't worry. And the engineer says, cool. So the engineers can go ahead and now use the token given and not even worry about when the color updates because next week, when the color does update from this dark green to the brighter green, the Starbucks brand token will be updated and that will be reflected to anywhere that is being used. So this Starbucks green is an example of a token, but in reality, what else can be a token? Colors, opacity, shadow, icons, all these properties of fonts, borders, and spacings as well, even breakpoints, transition, and Z index. Z index is basically what comes above and what comes below. These context agnostic primitive values that defines visual styles are called global tokens. Now let's look at what's not global. Tokenizing a token. What does that mean? Let's go back to the story. So the engineer is continuing to work on the website and and one day he comes back and asks the designer, well, what color is the button? The designer says, please use the Starbucks brand. It's the, it's the same green. And then the engineer says, okay, well, what about the checkbox color? What about the radio color? What color are they when they're active? And the designer says, also use the token Starbucks brand. Cool, so everything seems to be working, but next month, the designer comes back and says there's an update to the checkbox in the radio. They decided that they want to change to a different color. But the engineer says, we can't do that. And the designer says, why? Engineer says, well, right now, everywhere we want to use that color, we are using the token Starbucks brand. And if, if we were to unlink some of these, that means that we have to go to every single places we used and manually replace the value. And it's gonna take a long time. So you see that there's a problem here. So what do we do when different components use the same color, but we can't assign them the same token? What we want to do is we want to compartmentalize each component and assign respectively a unique token. This way it's easier to update by simply reassigning a new token to this context specific token. And these context specific tokens created for each of these components are called 
alias tokens. And the reason we do this is to, again, separate the concerns between each of the components and to make them truly modular. So now instead of linking everything to the global token, we created these alias tokens that adds a cushion in between and keeps things modular and efficient. So just to summarize what we learned today, Design tokens are like a nickname that's used in place of the actual hard-coded value. And once the token is created, updating that token master will update all the places being used. Among these tokens, the context agnostic tokens are called global tokens. Meanwhile, alias tokens are the ones diverged from the global tokens and they are made for a context specific purposes. So global tokens are like the atoms of the visual style values and alias tokens are made context specifically and are referencing other tokens. And finally, we learned that we want to actively use alias tokens to separate concerns. What we don't want to do is link everything to a single token. That will tie too many contexts together into one and any update will become more and more risky. Instead, we want to separate the concerns and modulate as much as possible between the components. All right, that's it for design tokens, and I hope you have a better understanding. If you have any feedback or comments, please post below. Happy designing.